All right. I have been terrible. I have not been making any YouTube content like I said I did. But I'm going to try now to start making it on the regular. And seeing as we got a cash game lesson off Mr. Ryan Risk, we're going to play some cash games. And we're going to bump it up. Instead of playing 50 Zoom, we're going to play 100 Zoom. I There's every chance that I'm losing in these games. Probably. I've never played cash games. But hopefully it will be a little fun. I know if I wanted to just get the most views on YouTube for me personally, I should just post highlights of my deep runs. But I just want to try different things. I All I do is stream tournaments on Twitch, pretty much. That's all we do. So I'm going to try a few different things. I'm going to do maybe... We're going to have some DTO in here. We're going to have these cash games. I'm going to do some reviews of my own hands, I think. And then maybe we can do some reviews of other people's hands. Might do a little series on poker terminology. I don't know. Just poker for dummies kind of thing i don't really see it anywhere on youtube for free so maybe something like that all right if you're interested in anything like that let me know in the comments but for now we are going to play some cash games i'm just going to play one table because i'm i'm old i'm old i'm very very old i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to be too confused it's a hundred dollars to buy in here that's decent it's expensive all right all right let's set this up where you at Oh my god, this is embarrassing. I don't know how to set it up. No, I do. Zoom. 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 Oh no. Oh god. How do I oh no, wrong table. Wrong table. Panic. Ah. I can't find it. I can't find it. This is embarrassing. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, everybody calm down. Everybody relax. We're here. Everybody, I got it set up. I am a professional at work. We have just played the first hand here. I think we've made a mistake. I'm just going to fold. I'm just going to fold. Uh, this hand doesn't count because I was I was trying to find a table. Don't let anyone know. Um, I don't think I should open this. Don't let anyone know how terrible that was, okay? We can work on the intros a little bit. I should get a nice little intro made as well, probably, right? If we're going to be a regular person who uploads here, maybe. All right, one table only. We're not going to we're not going to play for that long. We're just going to we're just going to see. We we'll see how we get on. And uh hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves. 100 big blind poker is not something that I'm very familiar with. And I think when it gets to like Zoom 100, I think we're going to have some pretty tough opponents here. So far, I know what to do. Every hand has been a fold. No doubt about it. Those sixes might have been a mistake, but we had the little hiccup. All right, A7 suited. Is this too wide from here? I don't know. Should I make it this size? I don't know. But that's what we're going to do. I feel like a suited ace, when you're raising it to four people, should be okay. But if we get re-raised, oh my god, I want a hand in zoom 100. Hmm. They said that us MTT players couldn't compete over here. Were they wrong? Um, I'm going to raise from the small blind against the player with this stack. And on this board, I think we should have a lot of checks. But I don't know. I think we'll check again. I, I think we could probably bet this hand. Uh, I got a value bet ace high. Interesting if we get raised. We do not. We just get called. Look at that. Get on my level. All right. So maybe these maybe these cash games aren't so difficult after all. This one's gonna be a fold. Oh, a walk. Everyone's running scared. They see the little poker star spade, and they running. All right. Tens. Legitimate hand. I'm gonna re-raise. I think. Um, Calling here would be fine as well. I would guess that you do both. But I don't think it's going to be a mistake. If we were to get re-raised, I would just click call and hope that we're running well and we see a little 10. On king, nine, tray, I'm going to go ahead and bet small. 100 big blind true bet pots, not something that I've studied. 
a huge amount. Obviously, from time to time, we run a hand, but not a lot. But I mean, overall, pretty good board for me, I would say. I'm going to have more aces, more ace king. I'm going to mix nines. I'm going to have king nine suited. It's fine. I don't think I want to bet again, though. I think we're very much in the let's see if we can show this hand down. Hope that they have pocket eights, ace nine suited, nine eight suited. It's what I think we should do. But I'm just an idiot with 100 big blinds who doesn't really know what to do. I would go as far as saying that 10s, when we block Jack 10, Queen 10, those middling good shot hands that will float. Maybe not ideal. It's a little bit better to have the diamond. All right. Hmm. Starting to feel like we win, eh? Um, I would bet queens. It feels like maybe we should bet here. Is this too tight? Am I just a nit? I'm a nit. I'm a nit. They're a nit too. Should they have bluffed? Guessing how to play poker with Fint and Hand, the new series coming to you on YouTube. I'm not sure if they should bluff. Uh, this is small, but this is a particularly poor hand, so I'm just going to fold. And this one we're going to fold. We're going to move along with our day. Ace 10 off. I'm going to treat myself to a raise, but listen, if there's some cash game players out there and they want to tell me that this is terrible, I'd be, I'd be open to folding this. All right, everyone's bullying me. I thought they were scared, but actually they are coming after me. Look, we've made a couple of dollars. I could just sit out now. That might not be a terrible idea. Hit and run the no limit, the no limit 100 streets. Um, this is this hurts my soul. Every single time I have to fold Jack 10 suited, a little piece of me inside dies. <sighs> We don't need to talk about it. We don't need to play do six. I was considering potentially raising with that hand out of the big blind. A little gangster. All right, so as far as I'm aware, one thing that cash game regs pay attention to is when they see shorter stacks in the blind. So this guy, you know, it usually I think means they're a weaker player. I would, you know, not always, but in the same way that when you're playing Poker tournaments, if you see someone limping in early position, some people are playing advanced strategies, but usually it's a sign of weakness. All right, so I don't think, I, I, look, I, I don't know how to play cash games, but I would imagine holding suited hands in the big blind is not really something we want to do. Now, if they had a bet small, I think I would have check raised, but I think against this size, we're just going to move on with our day. Congratulations. All right, we got the ace and the ace, and we have been three bet. I wish I had a little siren. Um, we're just gonna four bet. We're just gonna go ahead and make it twenty dollars to go. Try and get the stacks in pre flop. I would love an early, an early double up, just to give me that confidence. All right, I feel a little out of my depth playing Zoom one hundred. Do we see the shove? Do we have the massive pot? All right, so seven, five, deuce, four bet pots. My guesses are bet. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. If you, if you're in a four bet pot and you're the four better, bet. Sure, why not? What could go wrong? Now we hope that they have queens or kings. Obviously, we now very much hope that they have kings, not queens. Um, we are going to bet again, I think. So we're going to bet. If we bet 21, the pot will be under 20 and there'll be 60 left. So I think we probably just want to bet maybe 25. Um, not sure. But anyway, look at that. Winning pots, $140. Man, if I keep up this early, I would be. I would just have to give up tournaments. All right, see, here we go. Player limping. 
that's something that we're we're aware of. And also player not with a full stack. So my guess is this is someone we want to play pots with. Now, would fours work well as limp behind? Yes, of course. But if we could isolate and play heads up, I think that's something that we should try and do. And on 9-6 deuce, I think I'm going to check. I'm not really sure. Again, I don't play this stack depth very often, but on top of that, there's also a, a weird situation where it's like, you know, limp off 70 big blinds, a call from the big blind. It, it's not your it's not your run at a mill poker spot. Hmm. I wonder if I should play more tails to this. Because all joking aside, a zoom is like intense, but I could obviously handle a few different tables. I wonder if that would make it a more enjoyable video, mostly just to see me sweat. You know, if we had a if we had a bunch of tables, I would I I would I'd start struggling. I'm over 30 years old now. I did that reaction thing on TikTok where you've got a video and you've got a blink. Ah, see, I don't know. I'm gonna raise this, but I'm not sure if it's a mistake. Where you where you try and like the it goes get ready go and like when the go goes you have to blink. And what TikTok was just like, yeah, you're 34 years old. I was like, what? No, no, this must just say this for everyone. And then I did it again. Boom, 33 years old. And I was like, God damn. And then I kind of cheated the system, right? So before the green light went, I just like gave it a little. And I was like, wow, super quick. You must be 14. So it actually just works. And my reaction speeds are getting slower. And I'm getting older. And uh, that's just something you need to live with. I tried watching football today in my living room without my glasses, which I don't have on now, we have a massive projector up across the entire wall. Could Finty see it? No, Finty could not. Ah, oh. sorry, I'm just having an existential crisis right now as I, as I try and entertain you by playing some cards on YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bluff. Is this a little bit on the naughty side? My guess is, is yes. But I like the bluff. If you haven't got the memo, we're team ATB. Team addicted to bluffing. Um, no. Oh, shit. So they can have like something like 8, 9 and Jack 10 of spades and we just win. This player, like obviously on the flop, is on cap still when I check, so I, I'm I'm not gonna bluff. I don't think it's the greatest river card for me to bluff. Any check raisers though? No, 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 no. This player has eight, nine, nine, ten, or spades, but this player, I don't know. Could I make the greatest hero call of all time, or the dumbest hero call of all time? Which one would it be? If I had a pair, I think. It would be somewhat tempting. Ah. I mean, they have a lot of other pairs on the flop, but honestly, I'm kind of tempted. Do we want to see the dumbest call that's ever been made? And I would never, ever make it if I wasn't making a YouTube video, but I kind of want to look like a genius. They just have 9, 10 or 8, 9. The dumbest hero call of all time. $17 to see their 8, 9, or 9, 10. Boom! <coughs> quads. What's the quads? Not to see here, ladies and gentlemen. Never would have made that call on YouTube, so I hope you're happy you just cost me $17. If it wasn't on YouTube, I mean. Ah, la, 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 la. Listen, could have been great. Could have been a great moment that we could have shared in my first... Do you know what? Being these stakes is going to be tough enough. I can't be doing stuff like that. That's... that's. I'm less than 15 minutes in. And I've already made it... The, probably one of the, the worst calls that's ever been made in Zoom 100. Multi-way on the river, by the way. I'm going to click call here, but the one ain't nine. Terrible. Quads, by the way. 
I'm an idiot. All right, that's stock queens. We feel better about ourselves. I feel like this is these dots are a little aggressive. And we're gonna bet. I think betting and checking are both fine. Not one hundred percent sure. And we're just gonna empty. Congratulations if you have. If you have pocket seven, pocket aces, you're gonna stack me. All right, look at me. Just stick to getting good hands and value betting. If I could teach you one thing, right? Huddle around, get your pens, get your little notepads. Come on, nerds, right? If I could teach you one thing, it is don't try to bluff catch and value bet big and you will be a successful poker player. Yes, there's a few little tiny things in there that you might need to learn as well. But overall, don't bluff catch. Nev I never call a raise on a flop or a turn with a weak hand. Well, sorry, the, the turn or the river. Like if you get check raised on the turn by a player you don't know, you can fold everything, everything. All joking aside about two player, like if you don't have two pair, you get check raised on the turn, get it gone. You've got aces, you got an over pair. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Like, I mean, nobody. It, I, can, I can promise you nobody cares. Y your hand's dead when people check raise the turn. Think of how much more money you would have if every time you got that sinking feeling deep down in your stomach when they check raise you, you're like, ooh, ooh, I should just fold. Then you're like, the cogs start going. What happens if they're bluffing? What happens if my aces are good? Look how many chips are in the middle. I'm going to be rich, man. And your money's gone. Every time. Every single... This is... Sorry. I, my, my story's important and it's a good life lesson, but Jack Dan suit is more important. All right. We somehow are still making money, I believe, even though... All right. Here we go. Less than a starting stack. Jack Dan suited. Mmm. 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 We gonna stack your aces. We gonna stack your aces. Listen, they, they have a little weed plant as their avatar. They're chill. They don't mind. We're gonna bet small. Hope to see the check raise. We are going to keep betting. $17 will equal 54 in the middle and 49 here. I think we should bet slightly bigger. Obviously, assuming the river's not a heart, I shall not fold. If they check raise after my little speech that I just had, listen, I'm not folding trips. But it wouldn't surprise me if we lose. All right. Oh, I think we're up maybe close to $50. I, I lost a couple at the beginning. Jack eight in the small blind. I'm not sure if we had seen folds, what I should have done here. Can I get a full stack in our first little adventure into the zoom 100 streets all right again they're back to being scared of me now that i've made my one bad call got it out of my system they are quaking in their boots i actually wonder if how how long it would take me to be a good player in these games obviously that king five <coughs> suggests that it might be some time but I just wonder how far off I am because I'm not terrible at poker. I make mistakes. We all do. But I do okay. I, I, I don't think knight fives to defend here. I don't think queen trey is going to be a player regardless. Tens though. All right. We got our boy. And versus a versus the cutoff open, I think we're mostly going to re-raise. Especially given that the big blind... Um, Actually, that doesn't make that sense. I just realized I'm not even listening to music. I just have my headphones on for absolutely no reason. All right. Our first four bet pot where we are the ones that are facing the four bet. We are, of course, going to call. I wonder if there's any shove in here with tens. An eight queen seven is not exactly ideal. Can I just fold this in the four bet pot? I feel like you're probably able to do a lot of overfolding on ace queen x boards with under pairs and four bet pots given how three bet pots play so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna move on with my day when people four bet 
even at these stakes, my guess is they usually have it. You know, four bets are scary. It's hard to put that many chips in. So we're just going to be a believer. That's what I'm going to do from now on in the Zoom 100 pool. Yes, we had a little moment with King 5, but everybody has some moments. We don't need to talk about it. We're just, we're just going to believe people. Now, does that mean I'm just going to fold 7s on A4 tray? No. No, no, no. We'll be seeing a turn card. Ooh, obviously, big bet, um, but I don't think in position we can fold here. We've got this many to a straight. Um, interesting. Interesting, interesting. If we're a believer, we probably should start folding some turns. I'm going to block, I think. They're going to find some check raises, but they're also just going to call with ace, king, ace, queen sometimes. And like, I'm going to have a nine suited. I'm going to have eight seven suited. I'm going to have ace eight suited. I'm going to have king eight suited. So like, I'm going to have plenty of eights here. I'm going to have pocket fours, pocket trees. Um, so like, it's a little bit dicey for them to go check raising it at will. Sometimes we are going to lose here. Like, they're just going to have tens. They're just going to have jacks, etc. But sometimes we get called by ace queen. We milk them like a little dairy can. We go up to $162. Boom. I don't know if it's a bet on the turn. It seems like it's fine. Particularly if they're going to use that size on the flop with ace king, ace queen regularly. Okay. King, eight, deuce. I wonder against the small line, can I have some larger bets? They don't have ace king. They don't have aces. They do have pocket eights and pocket deuces. You know what? I don't. This player's got less than starting stack so we're going to just try and keep the range a little wider force them to defend some other hands and on the turn i think we should mostly over bet when we do bet small line if we bet the, yeah i think we, maybe not do i want to bet like i'm not sure maybe i want to bet like queens jacks and tens here still so i shouldn't just over bet i'm not positive deep stack poker is tough this one's an easy fold though this has been pretty clean so far, apart from that one hiccup that we're not talking about ever again. Uh, Ace deuce on the button, I think, is a fold. Is what I got told the last time I made a cash game, cash game video by Mr. Sven Calls. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's too tight. This we're not open. Excuse me, this we're not opening. This is going in the bin. King six off. I had a shallower stack depth in tournaments. I'd like to use this as a re-raise. But I feel when you get this deep, it starts to become a little dicey. You want something that, you know, plays a little bit better. Like 160 big blinds is a lot of big blinds. It's way more big blinds than I'm comfortable with, but I'm not folding in position with King Six. And obviously on this board, I have no intention of folding, even versus a very large bet on the turn. We have the second up flush draw. Really interesting. It feels very sevens, eights, nines, tens, doesn't it? I don't think I should bluff though. I think we probably just want to keep calling our hand. And on that river card, I would raise versus a bet. If they check, I probably want to bet large. We are going to raise against half pot. It would be very messed up if they were to tree bet the river. We could have jacks, I guess, but I'm not sure. I'm going to raise. And we got the folds. We're almost up to two starting stacks, ladies and gentlemen. Am I just really good at cash games? Did you tell me in the comments, am I, am I, the, am I the greatest player to ever play Zoom 100? Should I be the one challenging Victor? Victor? And Fader, Fader, Fader Hall's going head to head, or should I be the next one challenging Doug Polk? Give me answers. Uh, we're gonna bet. This is obviously a very reasonable board for a small blind. Question is now whether I want to bluff it off when they don't check raise the flop. We block King Queen, we block King 10. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. If they bet here, we have a pretty nice spot to raise. I'm going to bet the pot. They never have ace king, so if we get raised, we're just not folding. And once they check, I just think they're pretty stripped of king x, so 
Overall, I'm pretty comfortable betting big, but maybe we want to try and bet a bit smaller, drive some value in from hands that are not. I didn't mean to make this $4, but here we are, big spender. So this is a board I would do a lot of checking on, Jack A5. So therefore, I think when we do bet, we want to bet on the larger side. Um, it's a very good board for the limp call range. All right, add things that you should be scared of. Um, min raises. Min raises are petrifying. I do think my hand is going to be a tree bet. Um, but min raises on flops are up there with turn raises and river raises. But what is the rule? You need two pair. What do we have? We have two pair. Do you have pocket fives or pocket eights? It seems unlikely, but maybe. Jack eight suited is, or jack eight in general is just going to be the one hand that's the most worrying here. Interesting. They don't, aren't likely to have, they aren't likely to have, they are not likely to have ace jack or ace eight, I would say. Um, but they are likely to have, I think at this point, some combo draws. I'm really not sure what I'm meant to do on this turn, but it feels a turn I should be polar on. So I'm just going to go all in. I think that might be a disaster. I have no idea. Do we want to just force them to put money in with more Jack X or do we want to just protect their hand? Answers on a postcard, Finty doesn't know. But what Finty does know is that I'm up to $220 and I'm thinking of retiring from poker tournaments and playing cash games full time. Maybe. I don't know if this is an open, but I'm going to treat myself because I'm running good and I'm going to flop a set. And if I can make a small forest, aka three trees, um, we're going to take all of Kovac's money. Bang. All right. 10, 10. Oh, excuse me. Queen, queen, 10. Uh, against half pot, I'm going to fold. Even with a heart. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. These Broadway boards tend to result in a lot of folding for us in Treebet Pot out of position. In position is a different ball game, obviously. Um, but out of position, Treebet Pots. I used to be way too loose in tournaments, and I can only imagine that you get punished more in cash games if you start making these wide defends on flops. That would be my guess. I'm not sure. Um, okay, fold. Holding. I'm tempted to open this on the button, but uh, okay. All right. Jack six, I'm just gonna fold. I I don't know if I should be limping. I've watched a few sauce videos and he doesn't limp a lot of time. I'm not exactly sauce, but maybe, maybe, maybe you can still get away with a limping strategy at these stakes and I shouldn't be overfolding too much. All right, person in the big blind with less in the starting stack, you'll love to see it. We're gonna bet on this board, and on that turn, we're gonna check. Hmm. I think I'm gonna fold. I have so many better hands. And generally, when people lead these turns, they just have good hands. Um, you know, I have so many ASX. The thing about it is I would bet in general a little bit bigger with a lot of my range on the flop, but without the heart, I'm just going to fold. This might be, again, a little too tight. That could be a little too nitty. Um, you know, tournament players in the cash game worlds tend to probably not cover themselves in glory, but we're, we're giving it a bash. I'm paying my $100 to try and entertain you. So far, it's gone all right. We've made ourselves $100. Not a, it's not a terrible return. I'm not going to be defending this, though. Not going to open that. I would get spicy with the tournaments and the cutoff with 10 8 off. Uh, not with 200 big blinds, but shorter stacks. But here, no. Honestly, I, I just kind of want to book in my win. I haven't really decided how long these videos are going to be, but I know that you mother people, I don't know. Am I, are you not swearing, YouTube? I don't even know. Um, Tend to... Not have the longest attention span. So maybe we play for another five, six, seven minutes or something. We see if we can lock in a win. Or maybe we just ride it out. Maybe this is just the future. Maybe this is what Finty does now. I'm getting a little bit tighter, right? 26, 22. I wonder what clean six max stats are. It feels like that's too tight would be my guess. But I don't think we've made many pre-flop folds that 
are clear plays from what I remember. Some of the ones blind versus blind maybe were a bit tight. I did fold an ace deuce off on a button. Um, possibly too tight. We're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna call because the big blind's short, which makes me feel like you know they're probably on the weaker side potentially. And also, you know, if I was um if I was suited and booted, we'd we'd, we'd pump her up because we can call her re-raise. And here I'm gonna check. This is a flat spot we would mix. Um, we want to be polar on the ace x boards when check to here. So I would I would I would start betting um ace queen probably at least seventy five percent of the time. Um. But still, even checking it the, the the occasional time, something like that. Maybe you can just pure bet ace queen. But what, the point is, I don't want to bet small on those a side boards. I want to bet bigger check. Um, I assume the same principles will carry over. So seems a good spot to mix in a check with ace jack. This one, um, we are of course going to raise it up. For those who are not familiar with the term, the sourdough, it became quite popular during lockdown. The ace five suited just like sourdough. Man, how have we been in a lockdown for a year? Okay, I can't have a sec second existential crisis in a 30 minute YouTube video. Get your shit together. Okay, it's all good. It's just March now. March 2021. Remember, <laughs> two weeks, they said. <clears throat> all right, Ace King. Let's get some chips in the middle. This person has less than starting stack. Let's let's just put them out of their misery. It's Sunday evening. It's time to send you to bed. Where are you from? The United Kingdom. It's almost it's almost eight p.m. All right, all right. You don't you don't you don't want to dance? It's a pity. I'm not gonna lie. The tree from under the gun, off the shorter stack. I thought we were gonna dance. If they raise, I'm gonna get spicy. I don't know if this is a thing, but we're gonna get a little spicy. It's probably just a call. But we're getting close to wrapping up the video. And I just want to play some fun spots. <clears throat> we're going to bet. I, I, this is definitely a board I will be able to have some larger bets on. I did not mean to check that quick. I did not mean to check that quick. Check the queen jack. No, I can't rep anything. Just get out of my sight. Get is gone. It probably mistakes were made there. All right, we're not gonna raise blind versus blind. If we are get re raised this time, for the second time in short short succession, we are gonna to attempt to make a small forest. We just take it down. All right, not terrible. Ace two suited. It can't be a terrible hand to raise. Read ourselves. And if we get, honestly, four bad alert, if they decide to re raise us here on the button, we are going to put some pressure on. This is an interesting flop uh, board that I think we probably want to bet on the larger side a lot of the time. I think using this hand is going to work just fine. Question is if we get raised, do we want to dance straight away? Hmm. This is fine. Obviously, um, they have a reasonable amount of tens. Once we pot it, they just become quite heavily condensed ten x. I think we should just call because they're gonna have some spade draws. They're gonna have some hands like five six five deuce um, that you know we could potentially boat improve on a river and play a very large pot. Um, this is a quite interesting river. I don't I don't actually expect them to have many boats, particularly for this size. Particularly for this size. Um, I think they would check raise the flop with 10-4, 10-3. They, they could have king-10 for this size. That is the one hand that would make some sense. I don't know what the best size is, but we're going to go for... We're going to go for 4x. Obviously, if they shove, I'm going to puke all over my keyboard. I'm actually going to make this the last hand. So whatever happens here, this decides our session, our first session in the Zoom 100 streets. We're hoping for the call. We don't want to raise. A raise would make me feel sick. And we got the call. Boom. $253. Easy cash. Get on my level. What did they have? 
They had jack 10. They had trips. They had no spade, though. Just saying. Was that the right size? I'm not sure. But uh, we just made 2.5... Or, sorry, 1.5 stacks. That is not bad for our first little adventure into the Zoom 100 streets. Ryan Risk, who you may or may not know, is a streamer on Twitch and also a absolute crusher in the Zoom 500 streets, did offer to do potentially more coaching. So this is a session that maybe we could go over. What I would say is... If you enjoyed this video, just let me know because I'm not looking for videos that are just going to pop because I just know then I should just post tournaments. I want to build a little community where people in my community can see things that they don't normally see in my Twitch stream. So it can be sit and goes, it can be reviews, it can be more cash games. We can turn them into little series. We'll tie them all in together. But yeah, if you want to just let me know what you'd be into, I would really appreciate it. I had fun there. It's easy to have fun when you're winning. I will admit that. But hopefully you enjoyed it and uh i will catch you during the week on easyoutaces.tv we're going to be streaming monday to friday and putting out these videos on the weekend and maybe some other days we'll see i'm not 100 sure talk soon laters